Welcome to the province of Utai Thani in central Thailand. It is a very undiscovered province in Thailand, especially with foreign tourism. And today we're coming west into the province, up into the mountains, lots of farming, lots of hidden gems, including incredible wooden temples. Like this place behind me, you'll see in this video, is just unbelievable. And it's beautiful. This province is amazing. Unfortunately, my Honda dream, my vintage Honda dream, is in the garage. She's broken at the moment. We don't know when she's gonna get fixed. So I am using a second-hand little old banger Yamaha, but that's okay. We should be able to get up these mountain roads. This is gonna be a hidden gem. This is gonna be, oh, we gotta go here kind of place. This is an undiscovered province. This is Utai Tani. Enjoy. <laughs> Good morning, welcome to the forest. I've driven about an hour this morning. We're heading towards the mountains. However, along the way, there is a place that one of you guys has recommended. It's on my Google map form and it just says, Paddy, I know you love trees. There is a massive tree here. And then they've sent me some GPS coordinates and fair enough, I drove it to the coordinates and there was a carping parking place and I said big tree. So I'm just walking along the, the forest there's loads of big trees but this has to be it this one here look at this <laughs> jesus Christ. you know it's tall when the really tall trees just go to about the level of where the roots meet the trunk this is unbelievable so this has a record i don't know if it's the tallest the biggest or the widest root system I'm not sure but look as you can see the root system which goes right to the to here that's where it kind of meets the trunk but where it meets the trunk where they all come together that's easily as tall as most trees and that's just the roots coming out of the ground can you imagine how deep these must go in this soil are you ready This is really cool. Thank you to the person who recommended the massive tree. I do love trees. I went to visit a tree in Yala province and they said that that was the tallest. And then I went to another one in Koh Phang Yang and uh, they claim to be the tallest. I don't know what this is claiming to be, but it's absolutely massive. Yo! Let me put you down and I'll give you the scale of this thing. Wow. Yamaha isn't too bad. She's a bit shaky. Have a look at the front here. See that? It's definitely not supposed to do that. <laughs> and the front brake doesn't work, just the back brake here works. But have a look at this Utai Tani countryside. Just driving along these country roads. We're on the way to the wooden temple. It's very famous, but for half an hour I've been driving through corn, sugarcane, I think papaya. I mean, look at it. And to think that in about 15 minutes more, we'll get to a really popular, famous, 
Instagram spot. I mean, this is very remote. Actually, I just wanna, very curious. I wanna answer an age old question. And that age old question is, of course, what is it like inside a sugarcane farm? Oh, it's, oh, it's muddy. Oh, it's muddy and slow. Okay, no, no. Oh, my shoes are all bloody muddy now. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was like just dirt, but it's, it's all wet and sludgy. God damn it. <laughs> anyway, another 15 minutes more and we should be at this place, which I just, I'm, I'm very, this is far away from anything. I'm not complaining, just a little bit confused. <laughs> Okay, we've made it to this wooden temple and I've had a little look around and spoiler alert, this place is next level. This place is unbelievable, wait till you see it. So we made it and I can't actually believe that this place is here because the whole time I was driving for the last half an hour, I've just been driving through cornfields and sugar playing fields on tiny little narrow country roads and I was thinking, surely there can't be something of any interest this far in the middle of nowhere but alas I've arrived and wait till you see so when you park up you can see that they are building a reclining Buddha at the moment they just kind of looks like that board is advertising for some donations they need some more funds to create it and uh, so that will be really nice when that's finished but the rest of the grounds is finished this has basically just been saved and recommended to me as the wooden temple in the countryside and it is a wooden temple in the countryside, but it's way more than that. The gardens here are world class. The plants, the flowers, everything is just so perfectly kept. And there's a couple of staff walking around trimming things, but there's nobody here. The car park is completely empty. There was some monks leaving when I arrived. I think they were up in the temple perhaps. So that was really nice, but they've gone back up into the forest. So when you arrive, you just basically, you come through these little, steps and you get to this lake now this lake is a little bit like the lake from the charlie and the chocolate factory movie you know willy wonka when that boy the german boy is drinking from it and he falls in and then he gets stuck in the tunnel and he gets sucked up out into the thing and willy wonka is so mad because his chocolate fountain has been contaminated so perhaps on other times of year the water's clear and then you might get an amazing reflection but just look behind me here this is the temple and it is surrounded by, again, beautiful trees and flowers. There's also ornaments of cranes and deer. I wonder if this area has wild deer, because I know they do have it in the north of Thailand. And there's this incredible, looks like driftwood, wooden bridge that goes across this lake. So let's walk across this together. And I mean, just look at the little flowers here and stuff. It's so nice. And this kind of looks like chili, doesn't it? <laughs> I know it's not chili, but is it chili? It might be chili or green beans or something. Just look behind me here. This is the definition of tranquil. And we, we just remember how, how in the middle of nowhere this was. I was the whole time. There can't be anything up here. And there is a couple of like really beautiful limestone cliffs and this is kind of nestled in the middle. And um, I mean, just look at it. It is, I mean, if this was like in Bali, or Chiang Mai, <laughs> this place would be the number one tourist site, right? Because I mean, this was just, this is just stunning. And um, I can hear lots of fish in this lake splashing around. And there seems to be, ah, okay, there's a little like section here to stand a little bit with more space here. And then you can take the selfie like this. Are you ready?
about two minutes down the road from that incredible wooden temple is Pui, Pui Wai Cave. It's part of a national park and um, as far as I'm aware it's been completely abandoned. This seems to be the ranger station <laughs> and there's some information about the cave in Thai. So I think we're good to go in, nobody around. <laughs> and um, we're going to be going up this path. Tell you what, some of the houses we were seeing on along the drive here, just a short drive, some of the the money that these people have, they have, they, I saw there was like residential houses and they had incredible golden roofs and statues of Buddha and just dotted amongst the farmland and in between these beautiful limestone mountains. This is uh, quite the picturesque part of Thailand, I have to say, Utai Thani is not what I expected. I expected all of these central provinces to be flat and kind of boring and I would probably think I'd struggle to find interesting things. There are so many mosquitoes here, holy crap. Let's walk a bit quickly and get up into the cave. Hopefully it's not too far. Everything takes twice as long when you're a YouTuber. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be in a jungle today. Ooh, hello. Super cool. Millipede guy. I'll just leave him down there, see if he uh, unfolds later. Is this the cave? Tell me this is the cave. I'm sweating and I'm dying of mosquitoes. It's just so spooky guys. I want to go in. I'm only going in with a torch because um, you know what I'm fine here. I'm fine here. I don't need to go down. There's like pictures of like I think this might be a grave, I don't know. It's a bit spooky, really spooky. There's absolutely no noise. It's like absence of noise. Look, just listen, ready? To me, that's more spooky than like the sound of a drip, drip, drip or a squeak, squeak, squeak from a bat. There is um, some candles and a Buddha statue and it's all covered in dust and um, super spooky and I'm not going down there for love nor money. And, um, <laughs> I got some bad news as well. I just had a text message. If you watched the last video, when I was driving into Udan Thani, um, I broke down. Dreamy had a really big breakdown and she, she, she's um, in the garage getting fixed. Luckily, the Thai guys who rescued me lent me their banger little motorbike to use for a day or two whilst Dreamy got fixed. Anyway, he's just texted me and he said his mum is going mental at him for giving the bike to some stranger. She needs the bike. She's like, where's the bike? He's like, oh, I lent it to a foreigner that I'd met randomly. And she's like, what? So she's, he's in big trouble. And he says, can you please give me the bike back? And I said, yeah, sure. I'm an hour and a half away from town. So I'm going to just whiz back. So we're going to cut this video short because I, I, I want to give this guy his motorbike back. Bless him. I don't want to get him in trouble. If you want to see more of this province, we visited the Golden Palace and um, the Switzerland of Thailand, the beautiful rock formations in this province, but just in the previous video. So if you want to see more of this am amazing province, and if you want to see some more hidden gems, then scroll back one video and go check it out. You'll also see what happened to Dreamy. Um, but yeah, I, I, it's not even 11 o'clock in the morning and I need to basically go back and give this guy's bike back. In the next video, hopefully, fingers crossed, Dreamy will be fixed or repaired and we can continue the journey to the next province. Thank you for watching. Thanks. Bye.